Hi, this is Billy. In this video, I'll show you how to create flow valve for hydroponics using two different methods, using the disposable soft drink bottles. First one using two bottles, the second one using a bottle and a pill box. So let's start. Before that, please click like, subscribe and share with your friends too. Cracking method is a very effective and efficient system. You find a big container that can hold all the nutrient solution for the entire life cycle of the plant, from seedling to harvest. The plant will absorb the nutrient solution, lowering down the water level and increasing the air space within the tank. Hence, the roots continue to grow and absorb enough oxygen for it to grow in a healthy situation. This is fine, but if you are growing first tea fruits or your tank is a bit small that cannot hold the entire nutrient consumption, then what can you do? Well, there's a modified way of cracking so that you can continue to fit nutrient solution to the tank but still keep the water level at 2 cm a healthy level so you can have enough space within the tank for the roots to breathe so let's start I'll show you how we can do it in very simple steps this small tank has only 3 letters it is deep enough to hold all the nutrient from seedling to harvest. So using the conventional original cracking method, it should be okay. For this other one, the tank is too shallow. It will not be deep enough to contain all the nutrient from seedling to harvest. So if you got such a tank or this other tank, what do you do? Well, you can put in a flow valve like the one in the tank and feed it with nutrient solution yet control the water level at 2 cm which is healthy for the roots to grow you see the roots are very white and healthy because they have enough oxygen to breathe so to make it work I created a vertical hydroponic system we put the nutrient solution in the nutrient tank at the top the black one which is very deep and then fits the pipes into the green tanks at the bottom. Each green tank is equipped with a flow valve to control the water level. So I only need to check whether there's still enough nutrient at the top tank. Instead of checking the water level at the growth tank every day. In my previous videos, I created this 3D printed flow valve that can control the water level to 2 cm. But some of you told me that you don't have a 3D printer or the 3D printed material is not finished well and there's leakage so you can't control the water level. That's why I created this new video to show you how you can make a flow valve yourself using disposable soft drink bottles. I find two ways to make it. The first way is the cheapest because everything you can collect from your rubbish bin. You just need two disposable water bottles, a bigger one and a smaller one. Uh, we need the square based bottle. So the round one will not work that well. Just take a look. This is the finished product. Uh, water is coming out to simulate a nutrient solution and it will stop at 2 cm. To make it, find two square water bottles, a big one and a small one. Cut around 1 inch from the small one and around 2.5 inch for the big one. Then at the edge, pinch a hole 
to be the pivot where you can insert a bamboo stick to pivot the water bottles. Make sure when you drill the holes that they are in parallel at the same level, otherwise there may be water leakage. Do the same with the small bottle. Find a pivot at the bottom corner of one of the edge and make sure both holes are in parallel. Okay, uh, make the hole a little bit bigger so you can insert the bamboo stick or you, if you have a drill, you can drill a 4mm drill pit, uh, drill a 4mm hole so you can put this thing in. Make sure the inner one can swing freely. That means the hole needs to be big enough for the bamboo stick to go through and swing freely. Next, find a 2mm silicon tape with both sides sticky. Cut out around half inch and then stick it on one of the edge at the same side as the pivot. So you need to uh, test it. Make sure the silicon tape is at the best position to stop the water. Drill a hole in front of the big bottle at the same position that will touch the silicon tape stuck to the inner bottle. Then we insert a bamboo stick. The bamboo stick will be your water inlet and the silicon tape will stop the water flow when the inner bottle rises to the 2 cm level. Okay, so that's almost done. The last step is to pinch an air hole at the top of the bottle. Otherwise, you'll find that the inner bottle cannot rise when the water rises because of the air pressure. Then we need to adjust the inlet pipe. Once you find the position that will be able to seize the water flow. Secure the position using the hot glue gun. But make sure hot glue gun is very hot, it will melt the plastic. So make sure you immerse into the water to cool it down. Now let's connect the flow valve to the water tank. And let me start the water flow and test how this works. Water is rising. And as the water level rises, the inner bottle, which acts as the flow valve, will rise. When the water level goes to 2.5 cm, the inner flow valve will reach the maximum height and at the same time the vertical edge of the flow valve will close the gap between the inlet pipe, the yellow inlet pipe and the flow valve and the silicon will be a buffer that will seize the water flow and seal up the inlet pipe The second method improves over the first one by replacing the inner bottle with a harder pill box. It will be more durable and will last for longer because the soft drink bottle is a little bit soft and the shape may deform over time and hence the water level control may be deteriorated or even have water leakage. 
So this type of peel box come in three in a row. We just need to cut the last row in half. Uh, just leave enough space that you can drill a four millimeter hole, still with two millimeter at the side for buffer. Then you do the same, enlarge the hole to allow the bamboo stick to pass through freely and can swing freely. The rest of the steps are the same as um, the method one. So I'll stop my narrative here. Please enjoy the rest of the video. If you like what I'm doing with my video, please click like, subscribe and share with your friends too. Thank you.